pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Protheum. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to more modded Mass Effect 3. This is Hill. We're here with Leon Shepard. And here is not the Normandy. We're actually on the Citadel. And we're about to go to Huerta Memorial Hospital. It has gotten a lot more crowded since the last time we were here. Wow. But I'm here because, oh boy, we got more jobs. Because when we were here during the Cerberus coup, it was Major Kirahi that sacrificed himself to save the council member instead of Thane. And I guess it's too late for me to have a conversation with Thane. He's not here. But I just wanted to come and check that out for myself. Oh my goodness, look at the... The pain and tragedy here. Let's see, maybe he's already been put into a private room. I never got to talk to him. About Keppel Syndrome or There's any of that. Something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck. And I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? Alright, we're picking up these missions that I remembered getting before, but it was too early. I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the city. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. Wow. Some form of neurotoxin. If you look at our charts. Yet another oh, assignment. Uh-oh. That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice thing. Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will. But I'll do it without betraying my oath or my patients. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful right, about this we got now, some we'll Paragon reputation then here. We'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate. Wow, all this suffering. Oh my god, they even got the screaming and stuff. Alright, so there is just no sign of Thane at all. I mean, it's like he doesn't even exist. Alright, we're gonna leave Huerta. Because normally, I mean, before the coup, and I messed it up, you know, he would be right over in this area. I think maybe sitting in those chairs over there, looking out the window. Welcome to Serta. Oh man, I Thank spent all my money. I did more upgrades, so... <laughs> I was hoping maybe for some free Metagel. Now, now we've got to definitely do an assignment to try to get some more um, credits. Please select the destination. Okay, let's go to the holding area. We actually picked up some things as we were uh, traveling the galaxy. I'm hoping to finish some missions. Yeah, we're getting the stutter and stuff. There's a lot more people here. And look, it's Ashley. She actually wanted me to meet her here uh, for some sort of a memorial. Ash? Shepard, thanks for coming. Of course. I wanted to be here for you, Ash. It's tough to see her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. 
I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her. You'll get through this. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but there she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. <laughs> Your sister is waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? Really? That's how you're going to start it off? Okay, so... Oh! Hoo, hoo. Marksman unlocked! Alright. So, let's see if there's anything else here. I think we have the, um... The medical supplies and the Dr. Chakwas thing. We need to do that. Uh, we got a lot of stuff on here. Preacher? I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours. Waiting in bay D24. Thank you. Wow. I know. My people need any reminder of the faith they can get. All right. Well, you're welcome, sir. Really, James? What the hell heck are you doing here now? James? A tattoo. Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, ow, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. You see, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail, right? Right. Welcome to the program. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping, but the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. Don't let yourself down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! <laughs> All right, and... A nurse. A Turian nurse. And yes, those things exist in this universe. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. All right, thank you, nurse. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Uh, do I know you? <laughs> with someone on Eretok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher a colony. Only regret. <laughs> Don't have the strength to... <sighs> that was to stop the Reapers. I destroyed Eretot's Relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. <laughs> Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. I was sorry that I had to do it. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. 
about how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <coughs> if you have any real guilt, show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. All right, for you, I will do that, because obviously you're in terrible pain and you're suffering. This is going to be merciful. Oh. Credits, thank goodness, because I'm so poor right now. Okay. Um, do we need to talk to you again? Thank you, human. We will hold the pillars close to our hearts. Okay, you're welcome. All right, who else have we got? Actus. This is the the Dr. Chakwas mission. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Ooh. All right, and we have... Paragon and Renegade options. And since we are doing a Paragon playthrough, it's Paragon. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat grade meds will make a difference, and our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day to day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. Hmm. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. We're all in this together. How the events of Mass Effect mirror what's happening in today's world with the COVID-19 crisis. I mean, these people could all just be infected and dying. It's just, it's, it's eerie. It really is. Okay, do we have anyone over here that we need to talk to? I thought you were supposed to... Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Arya. Okay. Anything here? No. No. Okay, I think we can leave the area. But a lot has happened since we left the Citadel the last time. Oh god, this poor girl. Still waiting, I see. Oh gosh, waiting for her parents that will never come. Alright, let's go. There's Ashley still talking to her sister. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. Let's go to Presidium Commons. Now arrive. 
arriving at Presidium Commons. Oh. Making sure. Uh oh. Citadel defense. Have you seen Palavin or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here you've got the council fighting for you. But to fight, they need money. Money this bank has loaned them using accounts like. All right. Well, we got some reputation for that. Anything else? What's this? Oh. Rapid transit, okay. Reaper forces continue their assault on Asari space, claiming the Nimbus cluster. And the amazing thing is, we're still pretty early into this uh, game. There's still so much to do. Let me see if I got what I needed. I think I did. From these guys here. Any luck out there? Here. I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Okay, more money too. Okay, we've got the blue suns. Let's check out. How much money do I have? Okay. Professional grade equipment at reasonable prices. Thank That's you for shopping Cipertine. at Cipertine Armory. Thank you. Excuse me. Welcome to Agor Munitions. All right. When I was looking at an earlier video, I saw Please that I left this pistol piercing mod. Equipment. Oh, 50% reduced damage. Oh well, we'll take it. What the heck? Always interested in purchasing new technology. High caliber barrel. Agor munitions for deals you never see coming. Remember, okay, we'll go with this. Thank you. Management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Mm. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't. Uh, well, I, I just. My husband is risking his life to protect me. Yeah. I'm so sorry. That was I think you already know, people, that her husband is dead. Wait. P I have information about this Pore. No, I Weshra, I have an audio log for yes. you. Yes. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh Tasha. From the monastery. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Okay, so that's done. Let's go talk to General Oraka. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavin back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. I was hoping I was going to get something for that. Five Paragon? I, I think that's worth a little bit more. Okay, I don't see, I don't think there's anybody else down here. No one's triggering anything. Alright, I guess we can head to the Citadel Embassies then. It's so important to try to get stuff in the right order so that you don't lose out on the opportunity. 
Ah, it's Javik. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It's a victory. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many. There may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being a... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive, and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. Yeah, that was very inspirational. I'm, I'm moved again, I tell you. He's a good guy. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well, for a human who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Well, Javik, you don't seem to uh, take into the account that your race must have come from something. I mean, you're making fun and bashing everybody else. I mean, what what on earth? What did you all come from? Worms? Bugs? I mean, somebody needs to get on you about this stuff. Okay, was there anybody talking back here? All right. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyss. Nevertheless, we are committed to helping both the Turian Empire and the Human Alliance. Okay, so that's more we can try to get. I don't think there's anything over here for us. Samara! I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. It's an honor. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses 
before setting out. Good luck. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. All right. More Paragon. So I, I do have to say that I really do enjoy the talking parts of Mass Effect. I mean, I, I don't want people to think that I find them boring. Very much to the contrary. Although I love the combat and I find that's thrilling. This, the, I don't know what it is. The, the, the tugging at the heartstrings, the, the talking, the characterization, all that kind of stuff. I love it. That's, this is the thing that I've loved about Mass Effect. It gives you the best of both worlds. All right, let's go. Wait, does this guy? Nope, don't know you. What about the Elcor? I thought, well, maybe he'll want to talk to us later. Anyone here? What? You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why don't you go spend the time you have left with her? I'll take care of the rest. Okay, we're through eavesdropping. I thought I might get an assignment out of that, but we did not. All right, everything seems in order here. Did I pick up, I think, this guy? This is a problem. Yes. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it. But ensuring Citadel systems integrity is just going to take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample ciphers. I understand. Keep trying. All right, we've got another mission. Okay, let's go into the Spectre office. should have a message from a very special person. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive, and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. All right. There's that famous backside shot, people. Enjoy. Um. Ties to Cerberus? Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. But I did want to say, this exchange right here is critical. If you miss this, it's going to cost her her life. Okay. Critical that you come here to the Spectre office because what happened when we were on board the Normandy, I got a message that she wanted to communicate with me on the Citadel. So, must do this. If, Of course, if you don't care about her, then, you know, it doesn't matter. But 
if there was any sort of liking of this character, have this conversation. All right, he has to be stopped. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. There will be more, but the key to this conversation is letting her know that Kai Lang is involved in all this so that she can take the proper precautions. Okay. Kai Lang. I think we've done... What? No, there's more? Okay, Batarian access codes. I just did these on the, uh, the Normandy before I started recording today. All right, so we'll go ahead and enable this Din Corlac okay uh-huh let's authorize these supplies and uh, definitely we want to pardon our crew members Gabriella and Ken okay that's it Alright, Spectre Requisitions. Oh, we're starting to get some stuff here. Cerberus Encryption Codes. I have enough money to get that. SMG. Uh, we have enough for that. I think Liara is using that. And Pistol Power Magnifier. Wow. I'm going to be right back to nothing. <laughs> I think this is what we started off with, 325. Wow, I cannot hold on to um, credits around here. Okay, let's go. And I think this guy here we can now talk to. No? I thought he wanted the Cerberus codes. Oh, well. Maybe it's something we have to pick up while we're out. Uh, Bailey, anything for you? Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Talk about his injuries. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Let's talk about the Citadel. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All right, good luck, Bailey. You got your work cut out for you. You and me both, Shepard. Okay, I think we have one last stop to make. And it, it's it's a bit unsettling, I'd say. We're going to Purgatory Bar. That that all this stuff you see, all these conversations, all this stuff that that's here that you could miss if you focused on you know the main storyline and the Reapers and. You know, the, uh, the, all these other missions that we have. It's just... It's, it's very uh, precarious trying to navigate your way through Mass Effect. Um, 
Um, gosh, somebody wanted to talk to me down here. I can't remember who, though. You know, it's it's pretty, uh, look at all these Turian females. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. It's, it's kind of difficult trying to do all of this from memory. I don't know who it was. Ah! No, it wasn't Edie, though, I don't think. But we'll talk to her. Something on your mind? I mean, processing something? Shall each man find a wife for his bosom, and each beast have his mate, and I be alone? It is from an old Earth novel by Mary Shelley. Please do not take it as a complaint. All right. It did bring up a new perspective, however. I am a thing that is not human. Geth or Reaper. Other AIs are experiments only. Tightly controlled. I am free, but alone. Hmm, I wouldn't say that you're alone. You've got somebody that's very much into you. Nor would I call you a thing. You're not an object, Edie. You're a person. You're not alone. You were suggesting I consider organics as my peer group? I could do that, but it brings up a question. Artificial intelligences often consider themselves above organic life. I, however, am uncertain if that applies to me. The crew of the Normandy believe I serve them, but also acknowledge that I keep them alive. Am I above them or below? You're not a servant. You're important to us, Edie. You don't have to measure yourself against organics. That is kind of you to say. It also seems reasonably accurate. If I am not subject to the same expectations, I need not worry about rank. Thank you, Shepard. That helps resolve the conflict I was having. All right. I'm glad I could help. I tell, this mod is so incredible. I mean, she she looks fantastic. I, I just love having Edie as, as a human-looking person. All right, what have we got up here? Anybody else? Who is this? Joker? I haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. All right. That is a start. Okay, so I can have my drink now. Okay, and we are leaving. I can't, so I guess it was Edie that I got the message from that wanted to talk to me. Um, let's say hello to Arya. I know she's anxious for us to do her Omega stuff. Look who's here. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? Uh, let's talk about my new task force. What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty. To do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse Max and Vorcha legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. <laughs> See you later. Whatever you say, Arya. Don't be a stranger. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure we're going to be spending plenty of time together. Okay. I don't think there was any place else we could go or anyone else we could talk to. I believe that covers it. Let's just look in the elevator. I think we've gone to all the different locations available. Select a destination. Yeah, we have, uh, we've pretty much Let's done it. Please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Okay. Sure. If you're feeling up to it, I thought we oh, could do something fun for a change. Oh, 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 we still got one more thing to do. All right, let's do it, Garrus. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. Like alcohol? I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. 
So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Huh. Yes, we have. You're a good friend, Garrus. Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. Mm. No comment. All right, Vicarian, you're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. We're gonna miss people. Do it. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. It's windy up here. Think I'm going to erect a monument right here. Bronze this gun so the whole galaxy knows. That you're the king of the bottle shooters. Glad you're around, Garrus. Never know when the bottles might revolt. <laughs> All right, that was Shepard and Garrus. Well, it's time to get back on board the Normandy, and it's going to be time for more action. So until next time, this is Hill, and I'm out.